Good morning, it's Sunday. It's about quarter to seven, so I'm up bright and early. I had a great sleep, and yeah, just gonna take my blood here. I'm gonna take a guess. I think it would be six point something. 7.8, uh oh, what did I do? Oh no. You know, when it's this high, like that is high, it should be under 7.0. I know some people would say it's not that high, but anything over 7, I kind of get, I get upset about, shoot, what did I do wrong? I ate a good snack, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things, darn. Last night I made way too much salad, so I put some of it in a container, and my mom's going to have this for lunch. It had some carrots in there, but she's not really crazy about them, so I just pick them out. I'll eat them or throw them in the soup. I'm making soup today. Um, so this just has celery and cucumber, green onion, uh, green pepper, and romaine, and iceberg lettuce. And she's going to have her, her favorite dressing here, the Catalina. I've been meaning to do this for a few days, but I'm finally making my vegetable soup. I've got this no salt added vegetable broth, so I'm pretty excited about that. It is hard to find the no salt added sometimes. Um, so that'll make it extra healthy, and usually I use two of these, but it always ends up being where there's never enough broth and too much vegetables near the end. So I'm gonna put three in, that way it'll just make the soup last longer as well. All right, for the veg. Um, a red onion, usually I use a white cooking onion, but I don't have any, so I'll stick with the red onion. A beautiful green bell pepper here, some broccoli, and a little bit of cauliflower left, and then some green string beans. And then in here I've got my celery and carrots just soaking in water, they're nice and crispy. And I'm also going to use sort of the stalk of the celery just to throw it in there and give it flavor. I'm also going to add some garlic powder and black pepper and maybe a few red pepper flakes, I'm not sure. And then at the very end throw in some um, frozen peas. Oh yeah, and also some whole wheat spaghetti. I'm actually just going to break it up really tiny with my hands and just throw a little bit in there. It gives a little extra something. Got tears rolling down my face. That was strong. So I've got them cut nice and tiny here. And the only other thing I'm adding in that I didn't mention is extra virgin olive oil, um, about a tablespoon and a half. Here's the olive oil that I used, um, extra virgin olive oil, and it's cold pressed. Got the celery all cut up and ready to go. I'm not sure, I might have uh, cut them too big, but I guess that's when you can call it rustic, right? I like that rustic cooking because nothing has to be perfect. There's the onions there. They've sweat out and they're ready to go. So I'm going to add the celery and carrots and that's the mirinqua. And then I'll add the liquid and then the rest of the veg near the end. I try and keep the carrots the same size as close as possible. But when it comes to this where it's really tiny at the end, um, what I do is I cut them sort of into bigger chunks. And then as it gets thicker, I'll make it thinner and thinner. That way um, they cook probably pretty close to the same. Now that's a very colorful mirinqua with the, uh, the red onions there. I'll let this go for about 10 minutes on sort of a medium low and then I'll add the stock. The nutrition facts on the no salt broth here, they're pretty good. Um, 10 calories, no fat, no cholesterol, 20 milligrams of sodium, there's some potassium in there, 3 carbs, 3 sugar. Hmm. So then look at this, the ingredients aren't as healthy as I had thought. It's got all the good stuff, but then the weird thing is it has a little bit of brown sugar in it. Um, and what else? Dextrose. That's a bad word. I know that's, I think it's sugar of some kind. Um, but yeah. 
So I guess the best thing would be to make the broth yourself, really. It's the only way to make it, like, perfectly healthy, I guess. One of these days I'll try that. I've got two quarts of broth in there right now. It's coming to a boil. And then I'm going to add the third quart, but maybe just half of it because it's getting awfully full and I still have quite a few veg to put in it. Green beans, cauliflower and broccoli, and peas, and spaghetti. <laughs> This is one of the reasons why I'm so impressed with the market that I go to. I bought these probably going on five days or more, and they're still fresh as ever and beautiful. Same with the, the broccoli and the cauliflower. Like, it's all looking good still. I love that. So I'm going to cut these, let's see, probably this big. <laughs> One-handed cook in here. Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. So yeah, cut them about that big, and I'm going to throw them in now, just because they will take a little bit longer to cook than the cauliflower and broccoli and peas. I have a funny story about green beans. Back when I was a teenager, there was one time that I snuck out of the house, and then I was out all night, and in the morning my dad was set to go to work on the weekend and um, I was waiting to sneak back in so I was sort of on the side of the house waiting hiding and there was like a green bean plant and I would use to eat these raw because I was waiting for him to leave and I was so hungry um, so yeah I can every time I look at a green or yellow string bean it just I always think of that all right, this has come to a bubble, and I'm just going to keep it on low and leave it at a gentle bubble for about half an hour. Um, so I'm just going to add the string beans to it, and I'll let that go and pretty much be done. Just add the other stuff at the very end, maybe 10 minutes before we're ready to eat. Looking beautiful. Forgot to add the green peppers. I don't have that much. I do have another one I can cut up. I might cut up a half of one just because I don't want to, like, the pot is not big enough to add the rest of the veg really, so I should probably back off a little. Got the cauliflower and broccoli all cut up there, and I didn't put a whole lot just because the pot is getting super duper full. I don't want it to overflow. See, it can't take much more. I'm going to throw the spaghetti in there now. I think I'm going to put about this much. This is whole wheat, um, so I'm just going to break it up in little pieces. Every time I add this spaghetti to it, I overdo it, so this time this is all I'm going to add. And the spaghetti's in there now, so I'll let this go for about half an hour and finish it off with the cauliflower broccoli, and probably after 15 minutes of that, it'll be ready to eat. It smells really, really good in here delicious. You can see that spaghetti is starting to cook up there. Alright, I'm going to add these to the soup now. Oh, looking good. All right, I'll let that go for about 15 minutes and see how it's coming along. All right, so the soup was a hit. Um, I added some more red pepper flakes and pepper, and it's got just a hint of spiciness, which is great. Yeah, we each had a bowl. Delish. The best part is we'll have lunch and dinner for the next two or three days.